Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you're well. Listen, so this video is another angel vid for you guys. It's on the Archangel Raziel. I've made my notes to share with you guys. Before I get started, welcome to all the new viewers and subscribers. And again, guys, um, if you do need any of my services from tarot reading, which I mentioned before, I do the invocation versions. Um, any form of spell work, either Goetic, Archangel, or Santaria. You hook me up if you're looking for consultations or guidance in general on spirituality, esoteric, the occult, or knowledge, one on one consultations, just hook me up, okay? So, this Archangel is firstly extremely mighty and powerful. He's, he's actually quite a readily available one, which is especially good for like anyone in general, especially when you're starting out in invocation, spending time with entities, one of the easier ones to get in touch with. He's extremely um, an Archangel for humanity, if that makes sense. So he will make the time for you. Uh, you just have to do things in the proper manner, of course. You know, you can't uh, go to the wrong place. I always say you can't go to like a steakhouse and insist you want the fish. You got to go about things the right manner for what you want. Uh, it just makes sense. And they're very strategic beings as well. So follow the instructions and teachings I give you. And on that note of teachings, guys, um, if you like the vid, like it. If you don't, that's cool. But at least um, take a second out, share the video with someone. It might truly help the next person. Um, just from hearing the video content or if they need help in any way, then they can see, okay, cool. There are people out there that can help beyond the, the norm, you know. Okay, so what you're going to need for Archangel, My uh, I'm sorry, Raziel, to get in contact with him first in your invocation, you're going to need your petition. I always do it on the A4 page. On the A4 page, I'm going to hand draw his sigil and again, you are welcome to adorn your alter edit any way you like in an appropriate manner. Printed, framed, um, sigils, pics of him, anything that represents him is cool. But on your petition, this is important. The hand drawn sigil, which I'll give you the example of the one I use. Okay. Um, again, it doesn't have to be the neatest as long as it's pretty accurate. You, you're going to have to do a smaller version of the page. On top of that is your heading, your incantation, which the Archangel incantation is Barak Tus. Guth Mangun, Archangel Raziel. That is written out once. Followed by that is your welcoming letter to him. Okay. Which should always start similar to I welcome you into my home and my life. I go further than that. I ask him, the entity to flow through me and over me and to work with me and on my behalf. And I will call out the incantation at least six times. You can do it as many times as you want to there, but at least six times. And then You've got your written petition, you're calling it out. You will have his two candles lit. For him, you can double it up if you like. But just to start with one white, one yellow candle. I like to adorn it either with rosewood oil or olive oil. I will further adorn it with mixed herbs or dry parsley. Um, you, can, you can bind them together if you like. That's cool. If you don't want to, you can keep them separate. That's also fine. What's important now is left hand over sigil. Right hand facing up, looking into the candles and the sigil and the sigil. Start calling out the incantation and thinking of entity and his presence. Close eyes and now everything you've written and verbalized, inviting him into your home, asking for his guidance and help and his vibrant um, energy. You start to visualize it and you literally start to see it coming into your presence and you welcome him in with a hand gesture, placing him upon your shoulders, placing him around you, placing him in your home. And again, keep in mind with this one, he's, he's a teacher of note, he's a spiritual teacher, he's a guide, he's a comforter. And I, I found with him, because of his humane nature and love for humanity, when it comes to life lessons, which we all go through, no matter what we try to do to avoid, I guarantee you guys, you're going to go through life lessons, right? And oftentimes, you might find yourself repeating a lesson over and over, or going through shit over and over then you might think it's a generational curse. And yeah, for sure, in some instances it is. But a lot of times also, when we don't learn the lesson the first time around, right, and we don't grow from it and overcome it and truly, you know, go beyond that lesson, you're going to learn it again. Okay? So what is amazing about Archangel Raziel is if you form that relationship with him, the initial invocation, and you keep regular invocation in him, and even beyond the actual setting up, you can just... They often start lighting a candle to him once a week, once a month. But the more time you spend with him, the regular you are with him, the better your relationship will be. Okay, and you can call upon him for these life lessons that when you go through them, firstly, he will help you to identify them immediately. 
you can go through them a lot smoother than the average guy. You will learn and identify the lesson there and see what it is you need to do or change in your life to not repeat those lessons, which I think is, firstly, it's a time saver. It's a, it's a peace giver to yourself. Because repeat a lesson over and over, it's a waste of time, it's draining, it's depressing. So if you want to avoid stuff like that, reach out to Archangel Raziel. He's amazing. And again, keep in mind, he's extremely good also with um, granting wisdom and creativity and vibrance. Because his nature is nothing but, I would say, color, like a burst of color and vibrance. So with any entity, Archangel, Goetic, or any of them, it doesn't matter. The more time you spend with them, because their energy is at such a higher level than ours, we start to, even subconsciously, if you get to a conscious state of doing it, that's even better, but subconsciously, which is still awesome, you start to mimic their energy, their characteristics, and their vibrational attraction. Okay, so the more time you spend with them, especially if you're doing it for the keeping in mind of uh, interpreting your dreams better, growing your wisdom, being more vibrant, learning and seeing life lessons a lot quicker than others, maintain a regular relationship with this one. Okay, guys, that's the vid. Hope you enjoyed. Hope it made sense. Again, if you have any questions or suggestions or if you need any of my services, just mail me. I will always get back.